Hi, and welcome to The Coping Cafe. I'm Dr. Michelle, and Dr. Joe had to run out. But I want to introduce you to one of our Long Grove Center for Emotional Health clinicians, Lauren Hollerud, and she is like a wonderful ray of sunshine that we have like added to our practice in the last couple of years, and you're going to see why when we, when we start talking. Um, but Lauren, I am very excited today because everyone keeps talking more and more about CBT. And yes. first off, why don't you just start with, tell us all about what is CBT? What does it stand for anyway? Yes, so CBT stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Um, so these words, these days, it's kind of a big buzzword in the world of yeah, therapy. Yeah, you hear it all the time. Um, yes, um, so what that is, is it's a therapeutic approach, um, or sometimes what we call orientation and therapy. Um, but it's basically the belief that our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are all connected, yep. and that they all impact each other. Ah, okay. And so w when you hear that, right, um, who would you think CBT would be good for? Yeah, um, so there's a lot of research out there and a lot of the populations that it has been found to be really helpful for um, are types of anxiety disorders. Okay. So that could be generalized anxiety if you worry about anything and everything, um, people who might be socially anxious, mm -hmm. um, and oftentimes kind of mood disorders. So usually that's oh. where we would consider depression oh. and many, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, absolutely. So I, I think you're right. I think all the mood disorders, a lot of anxiety and depression, certainly uh, yes. CBT can be used for and very useful. Um, and who, like right now, like say for your population, mm -hmm. um, first of all, like what population do you see a lot of this in right now and who are you treating? Yeah, so I work with a lot of adolescents, young adults, um, and adults as well. Um, but especially I think in our schools these days oh, with yeah. pressures mm -hmm. rising. Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, the high expectations from parents and also some competitive schools, especially in our district. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> it's very, very common for people to struggle with anxiety or depression kind of due to all the, all the demands, trying to juggle too many things. Um, so really, it's it's in most in many many people and in most individuals I think can benefit from it. It's very I think straightforward. That, I, I do. I think that's exactly it. I think that so many people can you know uh, benefit from CBT. And when you say that you know thoughts and behaviors, feelings, they're all connected. Mm -hmm. um, can you give us a little like an example of that? Can you give us a little bit like when you say your thought is connected to your behavior, to your feelings? Can you give us a little example? Yeah. Um, so a common example I like to use is rainstorms, right? Oh, <laughs> so it, it's just one of those things that goes to show we have very extreme and different reactions to it. So some people find them very soothing, right? Yep. Like I know I have playlist on Spotify of <laughs> rain sounds, and then there's people who are peaceful and yeah. kind of zen. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. If it's raining outside, you like it to is. sleep with the windows open. I, I do. Um, but then there's also people who are pretty terrified of them. Yes. And sometimes that can kind of ruin their plans or they can cancel plans. Wake them up in the night. Yes, yes. Absolutely. yes. can kind of disrupt sleep. Um, and then we also have people on the other extreme, again, who chase storms for a living, yes. right? Mm -hmm. um, so it's all how you're connecting your thought to that, like that certain event, right? I mean, yes. You think about a rainstorm, and you might have the thoughts of, I'm going to die. I'm right? going to I'm die, right? And, and then what if a tornado happens? And what yes. if my house catches on fire? Or you yes. might be, or changing your thought, Pat, you're know, like to, oh, it's a, it's beautiful. The flowers will grow. Right. Oh, I love the, you know, yes. or like you could be a storm tra chaser and be like, oh, yeah, let's go find the biggest one. <laughs> yeah, yes. could be an <laughs> adrenaline drunk junkie and go through there. Yeah. No, that's, uh, you know, absolutely. I, I just wanted to find out a little bit more about, um, you know, the thought and the feelings and uh, just the automatic thoughts that we have that come mm -hmm. And we don't even realize the connection between that. Right. Um, so what I want to do is actually have you explain it a little bit more um, mm -hmm. in our next video and how we can apply it because um, yes. I know that you and I use it all the time. And mm -hmm. so um, we're going to do that in our next video. Sounds Hi. great. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on The Coping Cafe. I'm Dr. Michelle. This is Lauren Hollerud. And thank you so much. Join in again.